In the previous video, I gave you an introduction to the capacitor jump starter. And you guys realized how fast it discharged power. Now we're going to put it through some real world tests to see if it can reach the amperage that it claims. It says right on the unit right there, starting capacity 300 amps. I have everything set up. The question is, will it reach that power? I already did the test on the 5.4 liter Ford outside. So I'm gonna guess the low test is gonna come in at around low 200s, but we're gonna do this test two different ways. The first one is that we're gonna crank up the low tester slowly and see how much power we can draw out of it. And then the last one, we're gonna crank up the low tester, turn it on so it has that inertial spike of power and see if there's any difference. Just got it charging up right now, take a few minutes and we're ready to rock and roll. Almost 14 volts. As soon as she stops flashing. There we go. We're going to hold down the button to get into bypass mode. Once it stops, we're going to start cranking up the dial. Here we go. 100, 200. Oh, low 200s on this one. test here once it's charged up it's going to be connected and the load tester is completely dialed up so it'll have an instant burst and we'll see if we get a max reading off that 13 volts almost ready to go there we are Bypass, see what we get for an instant boost. Look at that. You just seen that right there with the low tester cranked up, we did achieve it's minimum or maximum rating of 300 amps. Now let's go outside to the F-150 and see if it'll crank it over and start it. So we got the batteryless jump starter on my F-150 which hasn't been started for a week. What is it, about minus 10 out? Ish. Minus 10, so this will be a cold start. So we're gonna charge it first. So the first thing we wanna do is that we wanna measure and see how much amps it takes or absorbs while it's charging up. So I just connected the positive right down there. You can see right now it's already got 12 volts, but once you press that power button, 10 amps it's drawing. We're at 12 volts. Press the power. Tap, no start. So after watching the video of the jump starter starting my Ford 5.4 liters, what'd you guys think? Did it sound a little bit weak to you guys? Like it was barely enough to start it with no battery? Let's have a closer look. What size of engines can these jump starters work on? Mine is the C3, 300 amp, cold, no battery, less than three liter. So considering that mine's a 5.4, cold, minus 10, hadn't been started in a week. So it basically almost started an engine twice the size that it's rated for. So that's really not too bad, my books. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. There's lots to discuss. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to discuss that in the comments below. And I'm gonna use some of those comments in the final video where we take this thing apart and see what's inside. Clearly, as you've seen in the video, you got a few precious seconds to get your vehicle to start before it's completely dead and you have to charge it up again. The good thing, it only takes a matter of minutes. Anyways, I'll be looking forward to reading your comments 
and I'll talk to you in the next video.